Hello everyone, how you doing today? Moneybag73 here, or Shine the Light 73 if you're watching me on my other channel. Just got home from a father-son camping trip, so been away for about five, six days. And I noticed the buzz over the last few days was the Scarecrow and the Wizard of Oz with a pistol. I don't remember that. Uh, my aunt, whose name was Dorothy, that was her favorite movie ever. She just passed away a few years ago, so... Be nice to ask her what she thought, but, you know, she could say that, yeah, he always had a gun. So that's how the Mandela effect works. I don't recall a gun. It seems kind of weird. Or the other thing, the lion's holding, like the bug spray thing, the giant, looks like a hammer, but it's a bug sprayer. I don't remember that. I've seen the movie a handful of times, but so that was kind of odd. Today, we're doing voting video number 19, Sinbad, who I recall being... In a movie or a television series, seems like a movie in the early 90s where he played a genie. I can, you know, I have a vision of him right now. Maybe with like a yellow genie hat and a yellow and orange outfit, big loop earrings. And I'm not confusing this with Kazam, where Shaq played a genie. I'm quite aware of this. This is not what I'm confusing that with. I have a clear image of Sinbad as a genie playing a movie. So thumb this up if you agree with me. If you remember Sinbad playing a genie in a movie. This is probably for the people 30, 35 years or older, uh, you know, teenagers or early 20s, probably wouldn't recall this, may not know who Sinbad is. I asked my mom who had seen Sinbad in a restaurant once, I remember her saying that. So I had asked her and she's like, oh yeah, I remember seeing him in the restaurant. We said hi to him and this and that. So she knows who he is. I said, do you remember him playing a genie in a movie? And she said, yes, I have a memory of that. And I said, well, that never happened. So. There was a question and answer thing here somewhere in 2014 called AMA. I don't, you know, I'm not going to hold a whole lot of credence in this. Someone asked Sinbad, you know, there's a rumor conspiracy going around that you played a genie in a 90s movie similar to Shaq and Kazam. Seems like it could have been called Shazam. It kind of comes to mind for me. But anyway, he said it was Shaq, 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 but we all look alike. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, he, you know, it, it's a weird thing. You know, he doesn't recall. Well, of course he doesn't recall because it didn't happen in this reality. He didn't play a genie in a movie, but I have a memory of that. And that's very odd. And I think a lot of you also share that memory with me. Please thumb up the video if, if you share that memory. If, if, if you're not aware, I guess you could thumb it down, but please don't thumb it down if you don't know. Well, I guess you would have to thumb it down if you don't know. If Shaq never played a genie for you ever in a movie, I guess you would have to thumb this down. But voting video number 19. I mean, I could I could do 100 of these. This is just incredible. I, I like continuing to go back and look at the other ones. I think Kit Kat still is overwhelmingly one of the biggest Mandela effects for so many people. They remember a dash in Kit Kat. So I'll have the other 18 videos down below in the more info section. You want to check any of them out. So yeah, camping wasn't a huge hit. The Mandela effect. I mentioned it. I had in mind to mention it for a couple to a couple people. It's a father son trip. There are like 17 people. And I kind of, it kind of came up here and there. A few questions were asked. You know, my, my brother's godfather was there and he remembers eating Jiffy peanut butter. I didn't tell him it never existed, but I I was talking about it with someone else. I said, hey, Jim, you know, ever eat Jiffy peanut butter? And he says, yeah, you know, I remember eating Jiffy, but um, then there was the Kit Kat thing kind of blew away one guy's mind. And, and my cousin, he remembers mostly things the way they are. He's a big uh, movie guy. And and he, he said, you know, a lot of these are misconceptions, these movie lines that people get wrong. And you know, he knew a lot of things. Andrew Zimmerman, he said, oh, you mean Andrew Zimmern? And I said, yeah, Andrew Zimmern. I asked him about Bizarre Foods. And so he has a lot of memories. However, I did get him with Curious George. He said, well, it's a monkey. And my cousin's a scientist of sorts. Uh, and so he remember, He says, well, a monkey has a tail. And so I said, well, this apparently is a chimp. <laughs> I remember a curious George with a tail. And so he says, well, I'm going to look at the books at home. But so it wasn't a real big hit. I didn't think it would be the Mandela effect. 
uh, I asked uh, my dad's cousin's husband, I said, you know, remember Eli Whitney? He says, yeah, he's a black man. And so, you know, and I said, he said, well, that's what I was taught. And I said, yeah, I was taught the same thing. But then I asked a few other people and they said, no, he's a white guy. So whatever. I mean, it's, I did get kind of a nice response from a few people. Well, not nice. I mean, they were busting up, but that's what I expected. I said, my first video has over 200,000 views and it's just such a crazy thing because like half the people say, man, you just totally blew my mind ever in my whole life with this Mandela thing, you know, comments on my first video three months ago. It's got over 5,000 comments, I think. And then the other 50% of the people say you need help. You need to see a psychiatrist, all this stuff. There's like very few people in the middle. So it's such a crazy thing. To me, it's one of the biggest things that happened in human history. You still don't know what's happening. Uh, I feel like I've shifted. I feel like other people are shifting as time goes on. And... I'm just going to continue covering this. It's such an incredible thing. It definitely gets easier as time goes on. Kind of get used to the way things are in this new reality I feel that I'm in. But I have so many memories of another reality. It's just such a crazy thing. So anyhow, I kind of got a little sidetracked. Uh, I'm about to take off. I wanted to mainly do this on Sinbad, number 19 voting video. Please thumb this up if you remember him playing a genie in a movie or a movie... Or a TV series and thumb it down if you don't. I'm going to be doing some other videos soon. I hope you're all doing well. I hope that you know you've been able to come to terms. It took me a little while to come to terms with this if you're extremely affected. Hope you've been able to come to terms with this. I'm probably going to do something else on Dolores Cannon because I think that the book she wrote which I have on my phone in digital form. I, I've been wanting to read it but the interviews I listened to her talking about the two Earths seem to explain what's going on more than any other theory or anything else I've heard. So Dolores Cannon, D-O-R-L-O-R-E-S-C-A-N-N-O-N. Check it out if you haven't uh, looked at her work. She passed away a couple years ago, but she spent 50 years going into the unconscious minds of people doing past life regression stuff. So that is a definite thing you need to check out uh, if you haven't seen that yet. I know a lot of you have already come across that information, but... Anyhow, that's it for today. I will talk to you all soon. Take care, everyone.